Well, hello, Internet. Recently, I've received the question over and over again, how do I play PC games on a Macintosh? And I reached out to all those people that asked me that question, and I asked them what game specifically they wanted to play, and resoundingly, Torchlight 2 won. So today, I'm going to show you how to use Play on Mac, which is free, to play Torchlight 2 on a Mac using the PC version. So the first thing you got to do is go to playonmac.com, and then click on Download and download play on Mac and we're gonna keep it and it's going to download for us okay after about three minutes it downloads yes it takes forever and I have a pretty high speed connection here and you just want to open that file up and then after it installs just click on play on Mac and this guy will actually run a ton of PC games I'm not gonna say anything more than Torchlight 2 at this point in time but it runs a ton of them and eventually I'm gonna do a proper wine tutorial so that you'll be able to run even more PC games without Windows on a Mac, but for now we're just going to focus in on this because Torchlight 2 seems to be the game everybody wants to use. And then you're going to get this little pop-up whenever it's done installing, and you want to click here, please download X Quartz for me, and then hit next, and it's going to download, and then it's going to install X Quartz, and here is that installer, and we're just going to click on continue, and continue, and continue, da 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 da, -da agree, and then install. And the great thing about this is you don't really have to think about anything it's going to install mostly everything you need right for you so you can just let it do its job the bad thing about it is it takes forever to do its job but just sit here and wait everything's going fine even though it's taking minutes whenever you're used to things taking just seconds and then the installation was successful and you want to hit close Playomatic's going to finish installing X quartz and I would download the newest release install update install and relaunch Continue, 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 agree, install, and then you get a message, installation was successful, hit close, and you get a message that you're going to need to reboot your computer, click I agree, click next, and then grab play on Mac and drop it in the applications folder. Okay, so now that you have everything installed, we're just going to click on Play on Mac, but you're still not totally installed. And Play on Mac is going to open, and it's going to say that you need to click Next a whole bunch of times again. So just hit Next, and it's going to install some fonts. Please read all this. Yes, okay. Hit Next. And then after the fonts have been installed, hit Next again, and then hit Next. Then what you need to do, and here's the whole interface, just click on Install a Program, and then you're going to search for Steam, and double click on that, and then you just click on OK, and then there's another wizard that pops up to help you install everything. And it's going to install Wine for you, which allows you to run your... PC programs on your Mac without Windows. And then it's going to say that it can't find a .NET blah blah blah. Just click on install. And then Steam is going to be installed for you. And then you're going to get a message that says, how much memory does your graphics board have? Well, you're going to come over to this guy and you're going to click on that and go about this Mac. And then this is going to pop up. And then you're going to click on more info. And then you're going to look right here and you can see I have a whopping 256 megabytes of RAM on my graphics card. So I'm just going to remember that and then go 256, click on that, and then hit next, and then hit next again. And then just select Steam and hit run, and then let Steam update. So process is basically letting everything update. And then Steam is going to open on your screen, and you're going to click on log in. Now, of course, you're going to need to have an account on Steam to do all this, and log in. And then you're going to get a mail message sent to you from Steam to activate this. And I entered my little five-digit little code they sent me, and and now I hit finish and then you hit agree and then you hit agree for all that stuff and there's all the games I have. Okay for the next part the easiest thing to do is just to go on steampower.com which is Steam's website and buy Torchlight 2. So just come up here and go Torchlight 2. If you try to buy it through the PC fake version it just doesn't quite work and then you just click on this it looks nasty and it's a mess so just buy it directly through Steam like this and then just click to buy Torchlight 2 and I'm sure you can figure all that out. Okay and after you do that whenever you go into Steam you open the version of Steam that we just created on your Mac and you click on library you're gonna see Torchlight 2 is here and you just click on install 
and it's going to ask you where you want to install it. And then in this situation, I leave both of these unchecked since I'm on a Mac and it's installing everything. And then you click on finish and then you have to wait for Torchlight to, to download over here on the left side of your screen. And now it's installed. So let's click on play and check it out. And you can see it's downloading Microsoft DirectX for Windows. And here it is. And if you want to get rid of the dock down here in the bottom of your screen, you just click on settings and go into dock and then click on automatically hide and show dock and then close that. And there, see, now it goes away unless you go down here. And then you click on new game. And we're in. And there you go. There's all the different characters. Mail. And I'm just going to click on the engineer. Get my bulldog. I'm just going to let him name Winston. And I'm going to click on normal and single player. And you can see, here it is. It's playing just like plays on a PC. Looks pretty nice. So that is how you play Torchlight 2 on a Mac. If there's any questions or problems you'd like me to try to solve for you, leave them in the questions and comments section below. Otherwise, till next time.